Lumi Tree Color is a powerful tool in Adobe Premiere that allows you to adjust the colors of your footage. Now, probably one of my favorite uses of this is the ability to match colors. And we do this to match the colors of different clips. Now, this can be helpful when you edit the footage and it was shot with different cameras or by different people, or if you want to create a consistent look throughout the project. Now, the project we have here, it's actually shot. There's all these different locations, all these different videographers, all these different cameras, different color settings. Everything is, well, different. So one of the things I want to take a look at is if we look at the little berries here in this clip, and the clip right after it uh, with the bird, you can see that the color or the temperature difference is, well, it's very different. Even though in theory, these are the same type of tree, these are definitely different shots, different locations. So what we're going to do is make sure that the bird shot here has the same coloring as the frozen berries. So to do this, I am going to change what's happening with our workspace here. So I can come up to this little icon where it says workspaces, and I can come down and simply select color, or I can click on the little tab here that says color. Now, if you don't see these tabs, if I click here, I can come all the way down to the bottom and select show workspace tabs. All right. So again, I'm going to go to color. And at this point, now you might see something over here that looks like a limitry scope. Don't worry about that just yet. We're not going to go there. We are going to pay attention to the panel over here that says limitry color. All right. So one of the things I want to do is make sure that I move my cursor over the clip that I want to change. Now the clip that I want to change here is the bird. Let's get a decent shot. There we go. So this has the color that I want to actually change. So in my Lumetri area here, there's basic correction, creative curves, and these kind of expand and collapse when you just click on them. What I'm looking for is color wheels and match. So once I open this, I'm going to click the button that says comparison view. And once I've done that in your program area, you'll notice that, Hey, there's current and there's reference. And this is why we had to set the playhead over the clip that we wanted to change. So there's the current and to change the reference, there's this little slider here at the bottom. So I'm just dragging this forward until I get to the reference shot. This is the color that we want to use for our frozen branches clip. So to do this, we'll simply come over to our little comparison view here. And there's a couple little options. One says face detection, and you can either turn that on or off. I usually try it with both, whether there is a face in the scene or not, and just see what's going to work out best. So if I click apply match, suddenly we actually have this changed out. Now, if you want to see what it looks like before and after, I can turn this off, this little checkbox here. That's the previous one. And here's after. Okay. Now, the cool thing is we can still adjust this. For instance, what if I turn off face detection and tell it to apply match now? Looks a little bit better. And I can still go up to things like basic correction and adjust the color and light, or my favorite probably is going to creative because down at the bottom, we're allowed to do things like vibrance or saturation. Like we want to push this a little bit. All right. And of course, if this doesn't look the way I want it, I can still go back to that original and adjust it there. I'm playing with the little sliders on the bottom here, I'm playing with shadows. All right. I think that's a pretty decent look there. And I'll go ahead and collapse this. 
Now, one interesting thing is we actually have the bird clip on our timeline twice. Now, what I'd like to do is I'm gonna actually go back to my editing workspace here, give myself some room. And if you look, okay, well, how do we get out of our comparison view? If we come down to the bottom here to all of our controls, if I click here, I can see, let's see, oh, there's comparison view and that toggles it back to normal. So what I can do is I'm going to copy this clip. So I'll right click. I have to be careful of where I'm clicking. If I click too high, it's going to show me motion, opacity, and all these different things here. So I'm gonna click a little bit lower and copy. And I'll go to the other bird clip. And instead of paste, I'm going to simply do paste attributes. Now I'm gonna move my playhead so you can see this. You can see this is the original off or kind of blue tinted color there. So if I go paste attributes, this will ask me, do I wanna do anything with the video? Eh, not really, but I do wanna do Lumetri color. I'm not really worried about the sound or anything like that. And I'll just go ahead and press my return or enter key. And so the color now is updated. So these three clips now have that same color. All right, now color matching clips in Premiere Pro can be a quick and easy way to improve that overall look of your project. And by using Lumetri Color, you can pretty much ensure that your clips have the same color temperature, saturation, contrast, and this is gonna help create a more polished look for your video.